Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is Monday and I wanted to do a full reset today because this whole last week I have done absolutely nothing. Like I'm not even exaggerating. I haven't cleaned, I haven't been sticking to my diet properly. I've just been lounging around, I haven't been filming, I haven't even done cash stuffing videos. Like I've just been a complete bum this week and I need to get out of that already, especially because today is another rainy day and I don't plan on going anywhere today. Like I'm just gonna stay home, but I cannot let another day go by where I'm just on the couch or in my bed, just watching and scrolling through Netflix or TikToks. So I decided to fully do my makeup this morning. I just brushed my hair out. This is like second day hair. Um, um, so the ends might look a little bit beat up because obviously I slept on them um, But yeah, my hair is down. It's not looking all raggedy right now My makeup is done which automatically makes me feel more productive and we have a lot to do today. So it is 11 o'clock we're already getting a late start. I should have woken up earlier, but I'm not working weekend nights anymore So it's been really hard adjusting my sleep schedule on weekends to be able to actually go to sleep early And I ended up doing that magnesium with cherry tart juice But the last time I tried it, it didn't work. So I also took some NyQuil and I woke up at 10 o'clock this morning. So yeah, we're already off to a late start, but that's okay. We're still gonna get things done because I work night shift anyway. So I literally have until tomorrow morning to get everything done. There's a lot that needs to get done around this house. I need to clean everything. Like literally every single room in this house probably needs to be cleaned right now. Nikki doesn't live here anymore. That's the only part that doesn't need to be cleaned because her room and her bathroom she left spotless. So I just need to pick up like downstairs isn't crazy bad. The office, there's not really much there either. But more specifically, my room, my bathroom, and the kitchen that needs to be cleaned. So we're going to get that done today. So I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and read my Bible and pray. And then we will officially get the day started. Today might honestly be a clean with me because the majority of my list is just cleaning. But it's going to be a reset and it's going to be good. So I'm excited about it. I just washed my sheets, thank God. So at least that's one thing I don't have to do. Everything else though needs to be done. Let's get everything done that we possibly can. And you know, if we don't finish, we don't finish, but I want to at least get as much as I can because I'm tired of feeling like I'm in this unmotivated slump. I need to get back into a routine. I need to get back on track. I'm not saying I have to be like a thousand percent productive every minute of the day, but I also can't not do anything. You know what I mean? So we need to get out of that. Today is day one and I might just make it a series, but today is day one and we'll see how far we can get. I did end up rearranging some things in the kitchen. So I kind of left this section as is just because it was most practical. Um, right here, I just moved the straws to this section instead of the corner by my garage door. And then I removed that rack thing that I had for dirty dishes because I really don't need much. I hand wash all my pots, pans, and knives. And then everything else that's dishwasher safe, I just throw it in there, which I actually have to clear this out. These are all clean. So instead, I just roll this out and I use it for the dishes that I do need to wash each day, which are basically just like these kinds of things. And then instead, I moved this over here. I removed that like vase that I had with dried out flowers. And then instead, I moved my Alexa to the top of this along with all like my spoons and spatulas and stuff like that. And this is actually a candle. So I moved that over there. I thought that was the cutest spot. I left this here because Nikki bought this for us when we first moved in and I don't want to take this out. So that stays there. I moved the napkins over here, just thought it'd be more practical. So that's pretty basic, but I feel like it makes this whole section look a lot bigger, especially because I removed that part right there for the dishes. And then I decided to bring my Nespresso machine downstairs instead of the office just because I was tired of going up and down the stairs for ice or a cup or something like that. So this new corner is now for the Nespresso machine and I actually really like it. So I just moved all my pods here, which they were already there, but um, I just brought everything downstairs and then I rearranged this cabinet to where my spices are a little bit different now instead of like the, the thing that spins just because it kept going lopsided. And then right here, I have all my little glass cups that I like for my coffee. I got these at Target in the dollar spot. And then one of my pastors from church actually gave me all of these for free. She was giving them away. They were clearing out what they had at church. And then I got eight of these and they're just small and they're honestly the perfect size for the serving that I do for the Nespresso machine. So yeah, I did that. And then I cleared out what was on top because it kind of was just frosting that went bad or whatever. And I cleaned out these cabinets. I realized there was a lot that I had to throw away. And then a lot of the stuff was baking stuff 
that were for Nikki and Lauren, which I don't really bake, so I didn't really need it. And yeah, I just rearranged everything so that you could see it a little bit better. And I feel like it's looking pretty good. Now my challenge for no buying groceries is kind of becoming a little bit harder because I for sure have less than what I did before now that I've cleared out everything that went bad. So we're getting creative now. Ignore the way that the butter is spread. I cannot get this melted. It's, it was just so hard. That Kerrygold butter tastes so good and it's really good for you, but it just does not spread easily. So it looks all chunky. Um, I also did two slices of ham with two eggs and I did the yellow bird sauce. It looks burnt, but I promise it's not. It's just from frying the ham that it ended up leaving the pan a little bit black. So that's why it looks like that, but I personally like that flavor that it gives, so we're good with that. I only did four ounces of orange juice just because I'm not really a juice drinker. So we did four ounces and then I did my cup of coffee with that creamer. And then as usual, I topped it with cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice powder. So. This is breakfast, it looks super filling. I'm very excited to eat it, honestly starving at this point. I took a little bit longer than expected because I ended up doing my devotion time and then I realized I had to do the start times for our drivers. So I just finished my little work portion of the day until again, I clock in at four o'clock. So let me just show you really quick what the downstairs is looking like and then we're gonna get started here. Okay, so this is the living room currently. It's not really that bad. I do have to make it a point to install this today because I am switching internet providers. So they sent me that and I haven't activated anything or installed it. So that's on my list. Um, over here, I have some things that belong to Nikki. I have to get rid of that box. That was for a vacuum that I just recently got. But she has all her yarn there. And then there's some things from the kitchen that belong to her here, along with her plants. And we're throwing away that lamp. She's had it for years. And we're just, it's time to get rid of it. So then coming into the kitchen, this is what the island is looking like. It's kind of just been a little bit of a dumping ground lately. So I really had to make sure to clear this, put my coats upstairs and just obviously clean everything because it's just kind of a disaster right now. Um, I just finished cooking, so this is gonna look like a mess, but yeah, there's not really a ton of dishes. So we should be able to get this out of the way really quickly. And then I do have to clear the dishwasher. So all of this, I'm gonna sweep, mop, and then do the bathroom downstairs, which usually is never a mess. I just need to do a little bit of a touch up here. So clean the toilet obviously i'm gonna have the toilet bowl cleaner in there while i'm cleaning the rest of the downstairs and then we're just gonna vacuum mop and call it a day here
Okay, so the kitchen is officially clean. I just finished mopping. I'm not going to do the living room just yet just because I want this all to dry first so that I can move the rugs and the chairs back over to the kitchen. And then we'll vacuum the couch, vacuum the rug, all of that stuff. So for now, the kitchen is done. It looks good, it smells good. I'm gonna do the bathroom really quickly, which is only gonna take me about literally like five minutes. I just have to clean the mirror, the toilet, and mop. I already vacuumed it. So we should be heading upstairs right after this. This is where I ended up deciding to put the table and I had to put it out enough to where I can comfortably pull this chair out and in. And I decided to face it this way because when I do people's nails, I wanna eventually get a chair that goes here so that they can be on this side, I can be on the side of the wall. I eventually just wanna make this look really cute, but right now it's just gonna be the table and the chair. I'm not planning on putting anything into this house anytime soon. So this room does get a little bit less light just because it only has one big window versus the office has two windows but it's okay, we could totally make it work. We do have some closet space here now, it's really empty. And originally I wanted to put my coats in here, but I wanna clean out my closet to where I don't have to utilize another closet. So instead I might just end up having this be like towels and extra blankets and stuff. This is this room, that's all that we're gonna do to it, nothing else, but I needed that table out of the way. So I had to scoot this mirror over a little bit because it was in the way, but this is the extra space now that we have. I feel like it's gonna open up the room a lot. So it should only take me a little bit of time to clean this up and we'll see what the end result looks like. Okay, it is 2.03 and I only went over by a few minutes, but that's because I started cleaning the baseboards and the shutters. So this is what the room looks like now. A lot more open than what it did before. We removed the table, the chair, and everything is officially clean. I don't really know what happened to this drawer. There's nothing that's blocking it. We really didn't use them that often, so it's not like they were slammed or anything like that. I've already tried taking it out and checking what was wrong and I can't figure it out. One of these days, I'm gonna have to just take them all out, figure out what's going on, and then see if I can put it back in properly. But yeah, for now we're gonna have just like one wonky drawer. But overall, I feel like it looks really good. I'm excited about it. It's clean, I can use it because I have a pretty big order that I have to get done later on tonight or tomorrow and yeah, I'm excited about it. This is what this is looking like over here. I'm going to use this space right now just to put some of my nail stuff. So right now that's all I have and then a bag of Nikki's yarn. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put some supplies in there so that they're not all over the place. But so far we're doing really good on time. So I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna have some lunch. Then I'm gonna clean the living room, just vacuum everything up really quickly, put the rugs and chairs back and we can make our way to my room.
then I took out the walking pad that was right here, so I'm gonna try to sell that. Um, but the rest of it is clean. We're looking good now. We can move on to the next stop. <laughs> it's right here for now because it's heavy. I'm gonna need help, but we're, we'll get this out of the way. <music> So I kind of stopped filming for a little bit just because I was on the phone with my boyfriend this whole time But my room is finally presentable enough. So let me show you what it looks like. This has finally been cleared off I had an entire pile of things just kind of stacked up so I can finally see the dresser again And then I had clothes kind of just laying around everywhere So that's all been picked up and put away Everything is all clean and vacuumed and I have this small pile of clothes that I actually have to get rid of So i'm gonna be getting rid of more things in my closet and this is just gonna go with it Um, i'm just charging my extra batteries there for now, but I have got some new books as well. Let me actually show you guys. I went to this like personal development. It was kind of like Christian entrepreneurs and I ended up meeting Nick. I can't say his last name, but you know who he is. I ended up meeting him and we ended up getting a free book. I also met Ed Milet, Priscilla Shire, Tim Tebow, and just a bunch of other people. It's actually really cool. So I ended up getting this book and then recently I ordered this on Amazon and I'm really excited about it. The way that I found this book was I listened to a podcast and the author was actually the special guest. So I'm very interested to see what this book ends up turning out to be. I'm really excited about it. I thought it would be really nice to start something new. And then I have this one, of course, Love and Respect. I took the cover off just because it gets in my way while I'm reading. But that one is very good so far as well. So... I just have my new little stack here of books that I'm trying to read and get through and just focus on learning, reading, and this being one of my goals this year. So obviously I have my Bible here and these are just kind of the books that I choose from on a daily basis. So I kind of just go back and forth, see which one I want to start. But I think I'm going to be officially, officially reading this one and I'm not going to move on to the next one until I finish it. So that's that. But overall, we're looking pretty good so far. I'm going to clean my mirror really quickly and then I have to move on to my bathroom, which I'm absolutely dreading. I didn't show you guys what my bathroom looked like before, but just trust the fact that it was too embarrassing to show. So we're just going to show the after. It's fine and clean, looking decent, and we're good to go. So the entire house is done. It is currently 4.43. And so I think right now what I'm going to do is just catch up a little bit on work. I'm going to make myself some dinner and there's just a few things left on my bed that I have to put away, which isn't really a big deal. I'm gonna get a trash bag and empty out the trash that's in my bathroom. And I decided to leave my closet for another day. It's not really a mess, but I do want to clear some stuff out of there. And I also want to start donating some things as well because... I just have way too much and I'm getting really tired of it so I need to get rid of it. It's all really in good condition and my church is actually doing a little bit of a fundraiser because my church is very missions focused and so they're going to be going to Kenya here pretty soon and what we're doing is um, I think the children's ministry is actually doing a yard sale so that they can raise money to also add to the addition of whatever they're going to be giving. So I'm going to be going through my closet seeing what I could find that I could possibly put in a yard sale that's still in really good condition. I'm gonna bag it all up, put it in my car, and have it ready to go to church. I don't think I'm gonna do that right now. I've been cleaning all day, and so I kind of want a little bit of a break. I'm not really tired though, so I think what I'm gonna do instead is put some workout clothes on and get on my treadmill. I don't know if I'm gonna walk or run or maybe do a little bit of combination of both, but I do want to get some movement in today that's an actual like other than cleaning, like some kind of physical activity. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have my dinner ready so that as soon as I'm done, I can just eat something. And we're probably gonna call it a night after that. I just really wanted to reset the house, make sure it was all in order and finally clean again so that tomorrow I can do a no excuse day and I will not have anything to hold me back tomorrow. I can just have the day for myself and whatever I need to do, catch up on whatever orders I need to catch up on for Etsy, 
maybe do some uber eats i don't know i really want to focus on side hustles tomorrow and just trying to get things done make sure that i get a really good workout but my preparation for that i wanted to make sure that this house was completely clean and organized again so that i wouldn't have any excuse or any like subconscious stress of the things that i need to get done at home things that need to be washed clean put away so this is done I'm very excited about it. I think this kind of just turned into a little bit of a clean with me. I don't know. I like those personally. I don't know if you guys like them, but that's just what this video turned out to be. So I hope you enjoy it and stick around. I will be posting a lot more here coming up soon. I feel like I'm finally out of my slump and I have a lot of ideas coming for you guys. So if you are interested in this kind of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. It'll really support my channel and I'll see you guys all next week. Bye.